Hi, today we will check this new door from AZ model you know, plastic kits company and as you can see it's quite new release from this Czech company. Uh, basically this model was um, can be described as an improved version of the RV model kit and we would check some we would see some improvements during this review. Uh, as you can see it's applied in this traditionally designed as that model styled box. On the top we have this nice painting of the D11. Uh, as you can see this kit version is D11, also there is release with D13. Uh, model itself is made in the 70 second scale, so it should be nice to and interesting to check. So on the sides we have some safety information, also here is some model described. Uh, and here we have color markings description which are included into this kit. There are three options including this JV44, which is really nice. And but so it's interesting because um, as that model included also decals for the JV44, so you can avoid extra actions while painting just white stripes on the fuselage. So we remove its side opening box as usual. We remove contents and everything is packed into this uh, nice plastic bag as usual. What we have inside? Inside we have a bunch of sprues. And we will check them one by one. Just wait a moment. It's very tight sitting package. But we would manage to check it close them. So this kit is interesting because it features this improved exhausts. Uh, you can see them here. Uh, they're much better than the RV version, as you can see they look more realistic. And also here is a gun sight, which of course would be placed in the pilot cockpit. Those are resin parts, just to remind. Next we move on and we have this uh, another resin part, that's the wheel well. As you can see it's molded as a single part altogether with engine components which were actually are visible on the real aircraft and as you can see the utilization is quite nice so everything it requires is careful painting and you would have a really nice result for the 70 second scale. Uh, then we have a really interesting solution because it's let's say untraditional for the other models because canopy is done like a two-piece assembly uh, front windscreen and the rear part so you actually you can build closed and open version whichever you would like really nice parts clear is a glass and no muted parts so nothing to complain about Mm, then we move on, we have this uh, fuselage sprue was, which was actually improved in comparison with RV models. Uh, it has right dimensions because RV models uh, fuselage was a bit shorter, I think 2 mm shorter than it should be. And also riveting is redone and some parts were remade for this version. And here is the winding gear struts as well. On the inside there is almost no detailization because cockpit would be assembled separately. Then we have a main sprue which is more or less similar to the RV version. And I would focus the camera and now we see so 
Of course there are no separate flaps or ailerons and as you can see they are molded integrally with the bottom half of the wing and top half of the wing but still we have a nice riveting for the 70 second scale as you can see it's really beautiful and what else, uh, propeller is done with separate blades so you would have to glue them separately here is the top wing halves tail wings what else, here wheels also really nice but one piece parts and of course here by the way actual exhaust which were in original version you can see that there are no comparison with the racing parts I can show them here so you can see the difference really noticeable and what else uh, as I said, wheel wells would be replaced with resin parts, so don't be surprised with total absence of detailization here. And cockpit base is molded as a separate part, single part, with some uh, riveting, not riveting, I would say, molding here, which is depicting actual cockpit of the Focke Wolf. And pilot seat is done as a separate part as well as a joystick. And I think that's pretty much all. And there is one more reason part, by the way, that the air intake also quite, uh, I would say, familiar part of this aircraft. As you can see, it features also riveting on the edges, and itself is really nice. Uh, then we have a nice manual. I will zoom it out. Then we focus the camera. And here we have it. Nice manual with short history as usual. Some color references which are done in Humbro paint codes. But still you have ROM codes so you can guess which paint you need if you use some other manufacturer. Uh, what sells? Actually, I'm a bit surprised. Aha, uh -huh. so you would have to... I think it should be somewhere here. No, but you would have to replicate uh, target side glass somehow. Because, as you remember, it's made from the resin. So, it should be a bit difficult part. By the way, yes, dashboard is molded as a separate part, as you can see, so you can play with painting. Yes. And of course, here are some other instructions. And then we move on to the to the the cows. I'm a bit, I was a bit slow because I was trying to find a dashboard and I would show it here. Um, we zoom it in, then we focus the camera. And now we show the dashboard, it's here. As you can see it's not a plain part, it's three dimensional with dials molded. More or less carefully, so it should be nice. So, as I said, now we move on to the decals, uh, which are done in very interesting fashion because they feature symbols and stencils on the one page. And as you can see, quality, printing quality is really nice. It features all necessary symbols, so it should look okay. No writings on the back. <laughs> Side. And as I was mentioning in the beginning, there is separate decal for the white stripes, which you would need if you want to build one airplane from Papagai Staffy. Yeah. Quite useful. So that's pretty much all for today. And by the way, there would be one more interesting feature which I would uh, mention in the full article. So read it carefully, and you would know something about future release 
future door release from Azot model. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and our Facebook group if we need you. So thanks and see you soon.